Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome to another edition of Karen and Tim Live. Yes. Today we're going to be doing some uh, unusual cards. I'm going to be making a bendy card, a spinner card, and a floating card. So. And what is Tim making? Oh, well, yeah, and you know, Tim got home from work a few minutes ago and I quick showed him my idea and he's going to run with it. So, <laughs> so, so, and he is supposed to be getting out the iPad ready. Oh, that's right. You know, that's right. You have a tech guy and you can't. So I do have an important announcement. Next week, Tim is going out of town. He is he is going with a friend to a concert in Chicago. It's 400 and some miles away. <laughs> and, you know, I think he's reliving his 20s. You know, they say that. He hasn't, I don't know if he's ever done that. So this could be a new experience. <laughs> but he won't be here. And so instead of doing it alone, I don't want to do without wing it, my wing it man, you know. We decided that we get um, a fair number of requests of people wondering if we would ever try an evening one because they work during the day. So next week, for one week, there's a change of schedule. We're going to go live Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Central Time. Because, you know, I can't let Tim get off the hook. He can't get a week off unless he wants to take the next week by himself. But <laughs> right. we're in this together. So I will put that out and I'll send out my newsletter on Wednesday to remind you and... So don't look for us here a week from now and, you know, we try hard to not change the schedule, but that would be good. Oh, and if you want to know what we're covering next week, we're going to be doing um, autumn things and be using the, the painted harvest or whatever kind of set. Uh, and one of the things we're going to be doing is a one sheet wonder. A lot of people have asked about that. So next week's going to be a lot of quick and easy cards. Today's going to be kind of unusual cards, you know, just stay with us because we like to keep changing. The week after that, we'll do Halloween, and then we're into Christmas. Oh, hi, great, Deb, Cindy, Dorothy, Diane, Roz, Kathy, Catherine, Karen, Robin. Oh, yeah, people are wondering who you're going to see, Tim. A whole bunch of people are asking. Okay, just a second. Ooh, and we have a South African person here, so how fun. Just a second, I'll be right back. Oh, he has to go look at his tickets. You know, this was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing. Um, he, uh, oh, you don't? He is, um, he, he, well, you know, T Tim loves music, as you all know. He's actually going with Holly, my assistant's, uh, my virtual assistant's dad. Um, we've known each other for a long time, and they were just talking and decided to just do it. We couldn't believe it. But Jacqueline, Donna, Kathy, Renee, great. Oh, this is who he's going to see. Tom Russell. Okay. Tom Russell was born and raised in Los Angeles lives in New Mexico, and is one of, I think, truly one of the best singer-songwriters there is. He spends most of his time in the South, Southwest, and Europe, but the closest I've ever seen him come was Chicago. So I said, I gotta go see so, him. So, meant to be. And nope. people are wondering if you enjoyed the fair. And yes, oh, I did, yeah, I did. So, and so we had a good time. So, I went two days in a row because so nice. <laughs> our son called us and said, uh, would you and mom pick up uh, Hank at, at uh, kindergarten and bring him to the state fair? Because Jamie and Jamie and Josiah were at the state fair and they didn't want to leave early. So and you know, I wasn't going to the fair, but what you do for your grandkids? So yeah, we yeah. picked him up, went to the fair, and had a good time too. So <laughs> Vanessa said she hasn't heard of him. Tim follows a lot of different people. He's really into his music, so he'll he'll have to tell you. Oh, Robin's favorite is Josh Groban. She she flew out to Vegas to see him. So see, that was even a, a bigger deal. So. Uh, yes, Karen, it was. Um, okay, well, hi, everyone. This is wonderful. It's overcast and chilly up north. Oh, we have a beautiful day here. But so it's overcast and chilly I guess, here, too. Oh, <laughs> I haven't been outside. I usually spend a lot of time outside, but on Thursday mornings, I am getting ready for this. And Thursday mornings, I'm busy because you know what a last-minute person I am. And sometimes things turn out, sometimes they don't. I wore, I wore a jacket and a hat to work today, Okay. So. Okay, so we will go ahead and get started. I did want to remind you that the card kit this month is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, we made this card last week, and it is one of the cards you get in the kit. But I absolutely love these, these edgelets. Now, I'm going to be making a bendy card out of it, not using... It's not from your kit, but we're going to show more. And Tim is also going to make a card out of the kit. You know, the thing that I love about sending out the kits is that I think if you make four cards... It gives you a whole lot of ideas what to do with one thing, and you're really going to find that you use it a lot. Okay, so this is 
uh, the bendy card we're going to do. So I'll have Tim bring it down, but isn't that fun? Because it'll it stands like that. So we'll just, okay, okay. Let's see if this is even close to being right. And we'll see. I don't do more elaborate cards like this very often, so we'll see how I do. But sometimes it's just kind of fun, and I know different people like different things, and I always like to make things as easy as I can, you know. So. All right. Okay. That's. It shows the edges of And you let us know if it doesn't work. I guess it's cold everywhere. I guess, you know, Thursdays just isn't my day to be out. Other days, it doesn't matter how cold it is. I'm out there working. That's the middle right there. And before I start, just a reminder, this is the host code for the month. Where are the numbers? There are no numbers this month. It wow. is all letters. U-T-N-F-B-R-R-W. I should set Tim to a task to make a sentence yes. using, you know, that would be a... Uncle Tim. Never... <laughs> Never forgets birthdays. Finishes. Oh, never. never. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Tim. <laughs> but it's, it's Utah Tango Nancy February. No, Foxtrot Bravo Romeo Romeo Whiskey. Okay. Wow. After forty six years since I was in the army, I still remember the the alphabet. Hi, Eileen. Uh, hi, I mean, hi, and uh, Sharon. Sharon from Texas. Oh, good to have some Texas people on here. You know, last week out of this set, I did just a couple of really simple cards, and, and I left them very simple. I said I'd show the finished part this year. I just put a little congratulations right there. I just think that's just such a cute card with the paper piecing. And this was on last week's video. Whose idea was this? Oh, and this was Tim's. He said, I think you need to put something that looks like a, 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 a Christmas coming home for Christmas. I said, we do have. Um, a stamp for that. So that was his idea of the frame. So a couple of fun, I simple, so I want to show you that you can make simple things too, you know, she that always, are really striking. She always asks for my advice on things and about <laughs> one out of 10 times she listens. Yeah. And you know, I give him an idea of what to do for the video if he hasn't come up with one and he could totally changes it. So, you know, I guess we think alike, you know, it's yeah, all good. Tough. Okay. We're so to make this, Oh, Melanie, if the picture's a little blurry, it's probably because I'm moving. The other thing would be, I think at your end, and, it, and it's funny because when it re-uploads, the, the replays are often not as blurry, and I don't know why that is, if they get re-uploaded in um, high def or something. I think also I don't, if you're watching on your smartphone, the direction you hold it might make it less. Okay. And I know somebody was asking last week, too, about comments getting in the way. And if you're watching, especially on your phone, but I think on anything, I think people had said if you swipe to the right, the comments will disappear, and you can see us more. So, you know, play with it. You know, I'm just guessing, because what we know about but, but computers luck, would not be... Our luck will disappear, and all you'll have is comments. <laughs> so... We'll see. I don't think, you know, although we should clean our camera lens in case maybe if next week it's really much brighter, just know it's because we ch we cleaned the camera lens, okay? Okay, so we'll get by this. I'll get some windows. Okay, so for the base card, I have my five and a half by four and a quarter base, so it's a quarter sheet of paper. Oh, and by the way, this folds flat. I don't know. Okay. So it actually comes. So this is a card you're going to want to send to somebody who understands card making, would know how to do it, or give it in person. Be a fun one to do in person. Or you could send along directions. Or yes, or, or record a video to send with it. Yeah. <laughs> that do would a Facebook be, that live would be great. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a Facebook Live when you get your card, and I'll show you how to do it. Because I want this on the bottom, and because I want this to stand, you can see I cut this a little different because I still wanted the little bit. So usually I would do five and a quarter by four, but I did five and a quarter by four and an eighth because I'm going to push it right down to the corner there. Okay. So that's that piece. And then I cut out two other pieces. One is five and a quarter by three, oh, five and a half by three. I was going to correct you. And one is five and a half by four. So these are your other two pieces. And on each of these, we are going to score half inch on the long side, whoops, on the long sides. A little whoops there, you know. Got to move that. I'm trying to write those out so you can see it a little better. So now you'll see I have these scores to fold. Then I've taken 
these same ones. Okay, Louise said it's clear. Oh, so maybe it's not our camera, so that's okay. Oh, Linda said it's not. she's on her iPad and it's very blurry. You know, on my iPad, it's pretty blurry, too. Is that an iPad thing? Um, oh, great, Becky. She did that. Swiping to the right, comments go away, and swipe back left, and you can see the comments again. So I don't know. So we shall see. You know what? Yes, I will post. I've been just terrible about getting blog posts done. You know, life has been so busy and it's been the first thing to go. But I, I will post these because I'll have pictures of all these and I will put these on my blog. And you know what? I'm going to shoot for tomorrow. Okay? So send me an email if you don't see it. So now you can see where I have these and I have run on the taller one. I've done the smallest things because they're going to be the ones in the background. And then on this closer one, I've done these bigger ones. And you can see I put a little little teeny bit of washi tape here to hold it. Uh, and I just kind of go, I want that, you know, I, I kind of look at that and eyeball it to be straight with that. I don't want my houses to be falling over like they, you know, like they've been in terrible weather and they're falling all over. But I said that's just all the tragedies in the world. It's just so sad, all of the... All of the weather in all of our states and around the world. My goodness. Okay, so now I popped that out. And if there are any extra little things here. I, okay. I probably don't even need to sit and do that. So now I'm going to take these ends and cut the top off. Okay, so I don't need that. So here's the one part. And then on this one, there you'll see my washi tape again. Okay, now get those off. To be a little careful so you don't rip out a part of this. I've done that before, you know? And do that. So when you watch this, you know, it's a pretty dramatic card, but it really is pretty easy to do just takes time and of course my measurements are for what I did on this card you use a different stamp set you might want totally different measurements but at least it's something to go by okay and if you do that over the carpeting you got a whole bunch of little things to sweep up well we just have confetti carpeting it's totally fine <laughs> oh okay Let's see, if I want it to look like the original, not that it matters, I'm going to put this side on first, and I'm going to use the tear and tape, and that's on page 208 in the catalog, and if you don't have tear and tape, I, you'll see how much I'm using it today. I just use this a lot for anything that is, um, just because it really holds, and I just want to make sure this holds, because it, it's going to have a little more you know, pressure on it than a regular card, and I'm going to put this under this, just so you don't see it on the back. Because I didn't want this, see, I didn't want this show, you know, I didn't want this part showing in the back, so I'm layering it like that. And then this one, I will put, so you can see where I have, why I want my half inch thing, so this one I'll put on this side. Oh, okay, yeah, people in Florida, yeah, you, you whether you're waiting on too, so I said, that's interesting, Linda says it goes blurry and then clear, I... We'll have to kind of figure out what's going on. I have no clue. I think maybe it's focusing on something that's up this, when, when it's sticking up. Maybe Is it when I it. move and then when I am still that it works? So, okay, now I'm going to, I see one more little thing in here. You can see I'm, I'm going to want to make a little slit here. What I found the easiest to do. Holly, why don't you call me and see Tell me if there's something I can uh, fix. Blurry, then clear. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is weird. I, I do not know. Okay, I'm having troubles here. Okay, so I think you can see this. Now I'm gonna take this blue part and I'm gonna go, oh, forget, I have to do one other thing first. I have to put this on my back piece. So, and I'm covering up all these words that I don't know what they are. The Christmas color, around the world. The color that she says is blue is totally green. Okay. But I'm colorblind. Is that really blue? 
Well, it's kind of a bluish, and it is from the, you know, you could use any set. No, that's not on Perfectly Straight, but that's okay. It's, it's a bendy card. It can all bend. Um, this is the natural, the eclectic. Is it naturally eclectic? Whatever. But all kinds of different things. You know, there's some pretty snowflake cards in the winter sets, too. That'd be good. Okay, now this is what I want to do because I'm going to need this to go through both. So I want to go in about one and a half inches right here. About. 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 And I'm going to make a slit in here. Okay. So there is my slit. So I like to do that first. Okay, I'm done with those. Because then I'll kind of know where, where this part should go. So now as I cut this part, I can see I'm going to Ooh. want that to go maybe there and there. And, you know, I am kind of just guessing. So now I'm going to cut this off. The focus keeps changing. I, You know, I really don't know um, what could be the issue. I really feel bad because... Okay. Um, but... We will see if the replay is better. I mean, I, you know, and then I actually record them, re-record them. I upload them in HD again and put them on YouTube. So I don't know if that changes, but now do you see how I can tuck this in? So how cool is that? So that's the first part of the bendy right there. And now in the second part, then I'm just going to figure out where I want this. And instead of doing the directions I'd seen, had you do another slit. And what I decided to do instead was... You know, just do it like that where you can do a, uh, a slit and then just figure out here. So I'm just going to guess. I'm going to just do it right here and we'll see how it turns out. And like anything else, if you make a few, you kind of get into a production thing and then you kind of know where you want it. But I just thought that was even easier. Now, my bendy is quite bendy. It comes right out. But really, that isn't that difficult. So how fun. <laughs> Lynn says you're just too close. Are we really too close? Should this be higher above? Do you have a light on above or Karen is well not okay, you know what? Let's see if it's better. If it's is this gonna be better? So let us know. But that is card number one using this set. And I think, oh, Cindy said Facebook is having issues. You know, I couldn't, some of my boards didn't show up on Pinterest the other day, and I went on to Pinterest and they said they were having issues. So I thought, you know, all kinds of things happen. Oh, Mary says, cameras have trouble focusing on white backgrounds. So I should use more of a tan? But you had brown before. Okay, well, I'll try that before. But okay, so that's this. So now Tim is going to do a, his thing of this. But anyway, so keep in mind, this is just another great idea. And you're going to be seeing lots of ideas from me this month using this set. So if you don't have this set yet, you're going to want it. <laughs> okay, and it is Tim. Could you give me another coaching session on what I'm doing? No. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I said, how about kind of doing something like this? And he goes, oh, sure. Um, he says, do I just cut it and just design it while I'm on live? And I said, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? So you're going to look in that and see if I'm focused. Am I, am I going in and out of focus? <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you one thing. My car, our car, we have a RAV4, and last winter, the CD player stopped working. And I thought it was just because it was cold weather. And this summer, it still didn't work. So going to Chicago to hear music, you've got to have music. So yesterday, I went over to a uh, junkyard in St. Paul and bought a replacement AM FM CD player for my car. Took it out to Belle Plaine, mm -hmm. to a friend's house. And he installed it, and now I have music. So I'm ready. No, he go. is ready to travel. And we're going to listen okay. to Tom Russell the whole way. Okay, and with that introduction, that has nothing to do. Maybe he has to do a music card after he comes back. I think I should. <laughs> okay. Where's my stuff? Right here. Oh, okay. Here are the pieces I have cut for him. And <laughs> let's see if I even know how to do it. Okay. I think I do. I need one of these. I need a scissors. I am going to make mountains. How's that? Those are mountains. That is good. 
What do you think? Gonna... What do you think? That's good. You know, he likes, he like. does he like feedback? <laughs> he gives it to himself. Okay. He's afraid it's not it coming. That's right. No, it's not good <laughs> enough. Yeah, what would he do if we all said no? <laughs> those, those are mountains? No. <laughs> yes, they are. They're quite remote Colorado mountains. Don't you recognize Pikes Peak? So I work for Starbucks and we have a coffee called Pike's Place from Seattle. And all these customers come in and say, can I have some Pike's Peak coffee, please? <laughs> well, no, you can't. Now this is really, what in the world? Yeah, you can scrub it. It, it means it's just not well inked. It might need some new ink. Okay. okay? That's enough. We're so that was Marina Mist, and now he's got Wisteria Wonder. And we're going to do Aurora Borealis. No, we're going to do Sky. Oh, Karen said this is fun. Great. <laughs> look at those. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, and look at the nice added effect, too. Yes, but you know what? We're going to cover that up. Okay. Where's my napkins? Where's my Kleenex? Oh, I think I'd better. You better get, get something because look at this. Look at it, it even shines. I don't have any baby wipes in. I think I'll be okay. See, okay. this will do. This will do. Oh, thank you, my dear. Otherwise, we'll just call it a smudging technique. See, that's why we why we do we why, why we have our studio next to the kitchen. <laughs> okay, now I got wet. <laughs> Here, come here, come here. Yeah, okay, wipe yeah. them off of my jeans. Has, yeah, that works. She has black pants. On. He's got khaki, so you know, that's why I get it. Plus, I'm going to work at Jamie's clinic after this. Ah, <gasps> look at that. Now, is that the next thing? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to use those things that pop things up. What are they called again? What do you call them? Um, dimensionals. Oh, he's learning the lingo. <laughs> pop wrappers. And we're going to pop these up. And I think I'm supposed to, I think Karen says put about 20 of them on there. <laughs> yeah, Karen gives really detailed directions. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now, remember when you don't have fingernails. You know what someone was reminded? Yes, that works good. Oops. Yes. Somebody... Someone else was saying you can press right in the middle of them and they pop up. Seriously? I've forgotten that too. So try that while we're live here. It pops up the end. Look at that. Wow. Can you do that without? So open it in the middle. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> that is such. Boy. So whoever said that, good point here. My life Jim. has changed. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, because that didn't work. Okay. It worked for one. If Karen took this much time to make her cards, we'd be here for an hour and a half. <laughs> Now, I can't pound this. I'm sorry, but pounding this would not work because then it would smash. It would defeat the purpose. Now, this is a little village. Isn't that pretty? The snail over there. That, that is, pretty. is really nice. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. <laughs> you know, Tim never really knows how they're going to look like. I usually make a card, or at least have a good idea. I don't always. <laughs> that is really too bad. Maybe I can just... But those are fun with the sky above the mountains, isn't it? I can pound the top. Fun. I can mm -hmm. pound the top, okay? Then we're going to, really, we're going to go all out and make this extra pretty. So this is Wisteria Wonder Paper and then Elegant Eggplant, for those of you. <laughs> and... I'm colorblind, but I still know that this looks pretty good. And he did pick the color for the background. Yeah, she actually, choices. she mm -hmm. had a color. I said, no, No, please. I won't do that. Please. And I didn't okay. put this down far enough because there's a little, you see the little blue there? That, see, that's, it shouldn't be because I shouldn't have dirty fingers. So, do I have a bone folder? No. It's just, you know, got to have a bone folder. And it's just not out here. Okay going to make it this way? Mm -hmm. I guess we have to. Because we made it the other way, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit. Karen usually likes me to cover every square inch of this 
with a snail, but I said, whoops, <laughs> let's, let's not put it upside down. No, she doesn't. She always thinks I use too much. Yeah, uh, I don't think I've ever made a comment. Yes, you have uh, once. Have I? Oh, okay. I Ear did once. Early on. Early on. Oh, and see, he's okay. never forgotten it. Does that happen in you, with you guys and your oh, relationships? Karen, you're the one that never forgets. I know. I'm surprised. <laughs> see, I forgot that. <laughs> um, what do you think? Nice. Pretty nice. Um, oh, that sky just really adds. So a very fun. And the mountains add. Yeah. And the mountains and the sky. I think it's just the beginning of a little lake peeking under there, so it's yeah. all good. Um, I was going to say something. I can't remember. You could paint the, do the the door like yellow, or you could make shingles. You could make it green. You know, you could do a lot of things with that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think I'm done. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> That's his. His card for the week. So, okay. Now our next card. Let's see if there's comments. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Practicing would inhibit him. Linda says he likes his creativity flow. That is so true. That is so that Tim. Is that is why he is the wingit man. So I said okay. <laughs> um, you know, a couple of times we've had guests on here. Some of you remember we've had Holly. We've also had Mary, Tim's sister. And I just wanted to point out, Tim's sister showed some really cool things that she had made for gifts for people in, she was heading to Norway. So some of you saw that. Uh, she has also started doing her own Facebook Lives on Mondays. So I wanted to do a shout out to her. And she has a cute one up right now from this Monday on some Halloween projects. So, oh, Tim loves seeing all those hearts. And That's my great. my sister has BS right in the middle of her... <laughs> Well, Mary, a Mary B's stamping well, it's page. Her last name is Burks. Okay, so Mary Burks. S S stamping. Uh, we're, we're not sure otherwise. Mary, I think, Mary, Tim thinks it's Mary B S stamping I page, BS. so I don't know. But, um, but to go to her page, and while you're there, like her page and see what she's doing. But, you know, you go to the Facebook.com slash, and then it's Mary B's stamping page. Stampin' without the G. Uh, I love to help other people in our group get started so you hear more about these later but I know you guys have met Mary and she's Tim's sister and she's got the same white hair that Tim has so it's just very fun so our next card have you d oh it's apostrophe s Mary says what <laughs> Mary B is there an apostrophe in there no I copied this directly from your page so I don't think so oh Mary B's is oh I see because it's not in the address but that's what it stands for okay oh. Okay, oh, but, but it's not. You know, but I copied this right okay. from your page, so this is the right link. Well, without the apostrophe. It should be without the apostrophe, right? Um, well, her last one, her Halloween one is on there now because the replays always just go on there and scroll down and see. And then Mondays, I think, at, at uh, 4, but she's in California. It's not her time, but whatever. But you'll see when it's on there. Okay, so here's the next one. Have you... Now, these are just really fun cards to give, and I don't know, have you done these yet? This is just... It'd be fun to give to a kid where it just spins. And this one didn't spin so well, so let's see if this one does. And I'll, I'll tell you what should be different. Okay, so here I have the little snowman. Okay, I'm going to have to do it right here live. I should have used... I got... Oh, Whoa. there it's spinning. Whoa. Okay, I should have used a little heavier... Cord. Um thread I have this really fine thread that just easily breaks and stretches out so even a really fine fishing line would work but you'd like something stronger than what what I used because mine gets a little too slack and I just don't think it holds up very well but let's try this one so see oh Whoa. now there's a fun one Two -year -old now that. this would be a, a fun card to give a kid and you'll if you might recognize so let's try this one and see if we can get him going better too you might recognize this from the seasonal chums, and it has the seasonal tag dies that go with it. And of course, the same idea would also work with the, a little wild. So not, and I don't consider, you know, the snowman really doesn't need to be Christmas, but I think this reindeer is really cute. So we'll see if he flips. Oh, Whoa. look at that. Did you see how much that flips? So really, okay. So they do work. Oh, I'm so glad. So of course, the one we haven't done here is the pumpkin in this set. So I figured we'd do the pumpkin. And I have just I just colored these with markers. But I thought I added a little um the blushing bride or whatever that really light pink is. I added a little on his cheeks too, trying to see if that made a difference. 
So you stamp these. If you're putting blushing, blushing bride, I don't think it's a he, I think it's a she. Oh, but, it's oh, but it could be either. Well, we, you know, we don't know. Okay, so this is the set and the thinlets. And they are on a page to, let's see, no, they are on, I was going to tell you what page they are, but they're, they're in the catalog. So, and you can see how they make just really cute little ties. We're going to be doing other things with these two. But to do it as a spinner card, I have colored, and I colored this one with tangerine tango and pumpkin pie. I just wanted, and I'm going to cut off the little gift taggy part. Okay, so now I have this. Yeah, most adults would enjoy that too. It's just a fun surprise. It's always fun to just open it. Um, and you're right, people think they put you more work into the card than you really do, because they really aren't hard. So here I just have a base card and I just took the two oranges that I'm using, the pumpkin pie and the tangerine. And so I have a layer on top that's five and a quarter by four. And then I use the largest stitched framelit and cut that right through both layers. I put it on like this so it would fit perfectly and that works just fine. And when you pop that out, you're going to have a couple of fun um, circles here to do other things with. So I will save those. And I can take this little washi tape. I have that, you know, I always have that sitting there. So my little thread is... So little See, it's thin just thin. way too, mine is just way too thin, but we'll do it and then you'll know what to do instead. See how easily this breaks? You don't want anything quite that, quite that good, but at least we'll work. And then of course, I'm back to this tear and tape. Yeah. Oh, uh, Laura, Laura says she loves this set. Yes. It, you know, it's just, I think these are just really cute for all kinds of things. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of that on because I want it to be very sturdy. So this tear and tape is just awesome for that. Oh, see, and my thing is so thin, I don't even, oh, here it is, <laughs> I can't even find it. But this is where you'd want to stretch it really tight, and so this is something I just didn't trouble with and I'm going to just get it on my tear and tape right there. I'm actually going to put a little, just one more little tear and tape on the top of each to make sure it's there. Okay, this one's actually, yeah, see mine is too much give in it, but that's okay. Sometimes it's just as helpful to make a mistake and then realize what you do need to go, and of course there wasn't time to go shopping. Yeah, I have trouble when I'm being watched, too. Tim's laughing because I'm not getting this off so quickly either. I'm going to cut off these little ends. And then I'm going to add some of this down the sides. Okay, so now I'm going to layer this right over on top. That will hide the strings. And you know it's going to fit perfectly because I cut them that way. So there we go. And then on the backing on the inside, I just have a smaller white, although I could use one just as big. I have a little smudge Shade on the back white. here too. Maybe I touched it. Uh, or the whole inside could be white. You know, I could have all these options. Okay, so now it's kind of assembled and you know, if you notice it's really going crooked, but that's totally good. Okay, so now here, the thing that's nice about these and in the wild, I just love that they have the backs to them. So when you twirl them, you also see the backs. So I'm just going to load it up with my adhesive. And I'm going to add a little of this to make sure it really connects. Just can't be too sure about this, you know. You'll think I'm really trying to promote this today with how much I'm using it, but I really do use it a lot. Okay, now I'm going to find the back. So here's the back, and I'm going to put it right under the string. Press the string down so it's attached, and then add this one right on top. Uh, 
Not too good, but we'll pretend. Okay. And and instead of looking, I at like her, his kind of. Instead of her watching, oh, her, <laughs> looking watching at her, her assemble, hair. You're looking at her hair. That's right. <laughs> but I actually like that it's kind of crooked. It looks just kind of smiling, goofy. This would be a great Halloween, not scary kind of card for somebody. And now we'll now it's the true test. We're just we're going to see if it flips or if I did anything wrong. But just know that that would be the thing that I would change would just be the thing. But you know, this really isn't hard to make. I think it's gonna work because it keeps going back. Okay, because it, yeah, it wants to turn. So, okay, so there's your card and you flip it. Oh, Whoa. how fun is that? Good job. Okay. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, yeah, I bet you can buy the, uh, you know, just a little stronger kind of thread a lot of places. So anyway, these are the spinner cards and, you know, all three of the, Got to spin that one. It wasn't going to turn flat, you know. <laughs> but all three of these just cute little tags. So just a fun idea with that. Well, thanks. Oh, Lori said she'll make that. So, oh, okay. Very, very fun. And then I have one more to show. And, you know, um, in a couple of, in three weeks, it'll be before we actually start doing Christmas things here. But pretty soon also we'll start the 12 weeks of Christmas. So if you like the kinds of projects I do, I do a thing for the 12 weeks of Christmas. Every week you get a new a project idea. So they start with cards and then they go into gifts. So just keep that in mind because you'll want to make sure you're on my mailing list. So if you aren't on it, if you did not get a newsletter from me this morning, that's how you know if you're on my regular email list. Just know that you can do that. You just go to, oh, I flipped that off, to karentitis.com or stampingontheBackPorch.com. Oh, and one other announcement. A week from Saturday is our card extravaganza here in Richfield. So if you're in Minnesota or know anyone in Minnesota or you're the side of Wisconsin or Iowa, let your friends know. We make 12 different cards. Next week, I'll show you a couple we're going to make. I would have shown you today, but do you think I planned that far ahead? No. <laughs> so, uh... Each week has its own thing, but we would love to have you join us. Okay, so now this time on my card, this is, a, I'm going to say this idea comes from Jennifer McGuire, and she does crafting videos, and I love her stuff. I think hers turned out better, so, I, you know, I'd already committed to this idea, and I, you know, I, I made these this morning, so, you know, <laughs> We go with what worked or what didn't. So then I kind of built it around it. But again, I'll tell you what might be better. So I have, this is going to go on a white background. So then I have a five and a quarter by four inch black and a five inch by three and three fourths red. I'm going to take a one inch circle punch. I'm going to put it all the way in here. I'm going to punch that out. And I'll set that aside. Oh, no, I'll actually, I'll leave it here. What you're going to see, I'm going to make this floating thing that hopefully can will move around. So now, watch, I'm back to the tear and tape. I'm going to want this to move around, but not too far. Not the tear and tape, but this time the, um... oh, right here. What do we call this? The foam adhesive strips. Perfect for... Anytime you want something raised, I love these for doing all shaker cards. You can, you know, mold them into the shape. So I was doing some with a button jar. We made out of the jar of love, and you can just fold it right around. So I'm going to do these edges right here. And I'm going to use a, an older scissors. I hate sometimes using my better scissors on these. Okay, so I'll put those up and that'll be a little fill in forever we need it. So as I'm looking here, I'll probably need two strips to do this. So now I kind of move this over because you know I, I don't want to see that. So let's see, I could it could go about that far. So I'm gonna put this up this way. And it could go. Oh, probably about here. So put that in. And I'll add that. And I'll just add some of these other little strips here to give it more staying power. Sometimes I put a little a little thing right 
right in the corner here. <laughs> Sometimes, I've only done this this morning, but on my trial one, I was putting one in here too. So let's see. Yeah, because see, it would go down there. <laughs> Can I say sometimes like I do these often? You guys know I don't do um, these kind of cards often. <laughs> Usually we're doing the, the straight. Okay, so let's see. Is that going to be enough give? Oh, it's going to be enough give for today. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and... I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not actually going to put it on. Okay, so if you see how this is going to go on. Now, I actually have my little Santa guy, but I couldn't find the stamp. This is such a cute uh, Santa suit and Santa builder stamp set. And, of course, I made one of these for the other car. And I couldn't find the stamp, so I just used the die. So we'll see, because I'll show you the other one. <laughs> Miranda says I'm a teacher. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Okay. And you, now, now you can see what I'm going to do is attach this. And then the point of it should be that this should be able to spin around. Now, for the one that I did, I took a little strip of paper and I rolled it up like this. I did a quarter inch and I made it that way. This time I was going to do, I took two little buttons one might even do it, but you know what I would have preferred is one button that would be thicker because sometimes I know the edges kind of get caught in these, but we're just going to, just for the name's sake. And I do know when I was watching her video, she made two, and the one seemed to spin really, really well, and the other not so much. Mine doesn't spin quite so much, but at least you see the idea, and I'm delivering on my promise that I would show this. <laughs> okay, so the only thing I need to know here is that I want to put that in the middle. Okay, so once that's in the middle, now I'm going to go ahead and take these off. So you, you do use a lot of this, but I said that's what it's for, so it's just perfect. Oh, this shirt comes off easily. Famous last words, maybe. That's amazing. I said now, you know, I'm sure a lot of you have already started with your Christmas cards, and you know, but I'll be doing a lot with Christmas cards, but awful just little, also little gifty things. And even when it comes to Halloween, you want to watch it even if you don't do Halloween cards, because I always do a lot of little gifty things that are good for anything. Okay, so see how that's my little thing? And then I'll put this on top. And my little guy. And then he's supposed to twirl around and well you know he does by hand but he's supposed to do all this all this crazy stuff okay so i'll show you the one i did <laughs> where do you get the stamp sets at i sell all these stamp sets through stampin up and if you need a catalog always just message me I, I send them out for free and i love to send out catalogs so what i'm gonna do here's my little santa that i did and see he does kind of jiggle around so my story is it's time to for Santa to get dressed. He's got his long underwear on, and he's got his clothes. There's actually a stamp in here for a clothesline, but I didn't think I should press so hard on here, so I'll just have um, a jiggly little clothesline here, just because I have it, you know, up on that that stuff. So here, let's see, we've got his clothes hanging, and it's even got little teeny clothespin stamps in here. But you know, we've just got some hanging here. And we've got his cap. So my story is that Santa's going to get dressed, but he keeps falling down. You know, he just can't seem to do it. He can stand on his head. He can do kind of everything else. But another card that it might be just kind of fun to do for kids. Oh, to hold the button on, I used um, this. And when I rolled up my... Uh, you know what? I was, well, let's see. When I rolled up the paper, I, on the ends, I used the fine tip glue pen and then held it and just held it while it dried a bit. So that's why I thought I wouldn't do that here. But, you know, kind of anything that's going to work well and then do it. So anyway, it's, it is just kind of a fun idea. So um, you may come up with a better one. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, just... I would love to send you one, Miranda. So just message me your address. You just click on the message thing. 
Oh, great. We'll be seeing a lot more of all this since Tim has got to work with the Santa set because with his white hair, people yes. always say he would make a great Santa. So, And, you know, he could put on a little weight and, and, <laughs> and make it even better. Um, I think that is it. So what we have showed today, and this is called um, a floating card because it's kind of like floating. So, you know, so anyway, these are just some kind of, and then we did the spinner cards. And then Tim did his fun. I really like those mountains in the back. That's a great idea. And we did the bendy card. And Tim's putting music on in the background, so I think that must be our fade out music. I'm not sure. Is this who you're going to listen to? Oh, okay. This is who he's going to listen to in the background. <laughs> so thanks. I don't know if I read comments real well, but. Um. <clears throat> Well, we're having some tech issues here. <laughs> so I'm assuming you can still hear me. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, Do you remember I did okay, that once? Tim, yes. And Tim said it was my fault and I just didn't see <laughs> it right. Now he did the same thing. So, you know, I don't think he can blame, okay, blame me gotta, totally. You got to keep reading comments. Until <laughs> okay, oh, that'll be really blurry. But great video. Oh, thanks everyone. Everyone is saying nice thing. Oh, there you go. Oh, Oops. Oh, we love okay. it. Oops. <laughs> yeah, we're all oh, okay. We appreciate you guys. Let me know if there's anything you need, want, if you can come to the thing. And um, Oh, and I know I've been just a little slow at getting the mail out, but the first round of all the swaps and also if you've placed an order through today, your, your card kit for the month with this beautiful set is going out tomorrow. So a huge mail day tomorrow. So thanks, everyone. Have a good week, and we'll see you next Wednesday night. Did you say Wednesday at, at 7, 7 p.m. or 7.30? 7 p.m. 7 PM 7 PM Central, Central time. Oh, the hearts and thumbs up. Thanks, guys. And I don't know. Even when we make a mess, you know. <laughs> daylight savings time won't be going up before then, so okay, we'll, we'll assume that it's all the same. Thanks, guys. See you, see you next Wednesday night. Have okay. a good week. Bye. Bye.